Good evening. My name is Dorothy Picuaro. I live at 21 Red Oak Drive in Guildford. I am in complete support of a policy that enables any student, indeed any person, to be respected for who he or she is, to be called by his or her preferred name, referred to by his or her appropriate pronoun, and to be recognized by the gender he or she identifies with. I want to start by thanking Michael Graham for sponsoring an excellent forum the other week, Ask a Trans Anything. I believe we all learned so much as three courageous women shared their stories. One would have had to be made of stone, not to be moved by them. They readily answered all questions, and I know that we all gained a deeper understanding of the special and unnecessary challenges trans people so often face just to be who they are. Unfortunately, the many people who really needed to be there were not. Had you who are concerned about the welfare and safety of your own children, who fear possible challenges to your preconceived ideas or to your belief system, or who resist changes to a comfortable status quo, had you attended this program, it might have gone far to alleviate your concerns. This issue is not about trampling your rights or a challenge to free speech. It is about allowing all people to determine who they are and not be forced to be defined by others, by us. We have nothing to fear from any trans person, but trans people often have a lot to fear from us if we do not fully accept them for who they are and treat them accordingly. Perhaps the most meaningful and thought-provoking question at that forum the other week with the trans people was, so how do you respond to the statement I am not a bigot, but. That but clearly negates the first part of the statement. I do not want any Gilf anyone in Guilford to feel afraid of us. It was not too long ago when people feared that women or gay people serving in the military would undermine effectiveness, that gay marriage would somehow devalue traditional marriage, when a book like Heather Has Two Mummies was banned from many schools and libraries. <laughs> How fortunate for all of us that these are no longer issues that we discuss. I am hopeful that it won't be long before we, and you, will look back and wonder what all the fuss surrounding trans children in school was all about. By adopting this policy, we can make that day come sooner rather than later. Thank you. Diane Tinkham, I live at 21 Burlane. Uh, my husband and I chose to live in Guilford 30 years ago, even though I was teaching in a different school district, because of the great reputation of Guilford schools. Both my children grew up in this community, went through to graduation in this school, and mostly it was a wonderful experience. <coughs> and mostly I'm so proud to be from Guilford. And this is one of the challenging moments where I'm questioning that. I think any, by not accepting this policy as common sense, people are targeting children. And I think you do have a responsibility as a school board to make sure you are not allowing children to be targeted, especially within a policy. So I'm very much in support of passing this so that the transgender children and all children involved would be protected and to be given the respect that any student deserves and they have a right to expect to be treated equally and fairly. And just another statement about thanking people who can come forward with their own stories and especially parents who are brave enough to allow their children to be who they are and as difficult as that can be at times. And so really look at parents who've spoken up and know that this is a hard thing for them and really want to be supportive of all the parents and families in the district.
Michael Graham, 27 Sprucewood Drive. In October, I spoke as a parent whose gay son attended the Guilford High School and had some tough times because of his sexual orientation. During that meeting a month ago, a couple of people mentioned their religious convictions led them to oppose the transgender policy the school board was developing. Tonight, I speak as the pastor of the Guilford Community Church. Not everyone with religious convictions oppose this policy. My religious convictions encourage me to treat people like they want to be treated and to support this policy. But I also know good people struggle with this. I have empathy for those for whom this is troublesome. I haven't always felt the way I do tonight. I believe most of us truly want what is best for all the students in the Guilford school system. We aren't, we aren't enemies, but stakeholders. And so I hope the school board will lead, be proactive, not reactive, help us to deal with the facts, not stoke fears, so that all students will feel safe, be treated fairly, and respected for who they are. And I would also invite the school board to another forum at the Guilford Community Church, which will be Tuesday night at 6 o'clock, December 10th. I would encourage you and anyone else to come to that. Thank you. Diane Hanley. I'm from 71 Labonte Farm Road <clears throat> in Guilford. Uh, I would like to indicate my support uh, to the school board uh, in adopting a trans transgender and gender nonconforming policy for the students. I thank you for that. Uh, formulating this policy is required for all New Hampshire schools as of this year because of the concern and successful action by our legislature and the governor. The governor vetoed over 55 bills this year, but he supported this legislation. It's time for Guilford to adopt this affirming policy. Uh, at the last meeting, someone implied that being teased built character. And I just want to say, I don't have kids, but I was a red-haired, freckle-faced, eyeglassed kid. And yeah, I got made fun of. And maybe that built some character. But when I was made fun of, I was not fearing for my life, missing days from school, and so on. Uh, so this whole notion that it builds character to somehow hide behind doors and identity and stuff like that, uh, really, I just think that that was a very poorly founded uh, argument against this policy. <coughs> School is a place where children are taught to respect one another and to learn to work together regardless of their differences. Learning about gender diversity is part of that work. If a child does not agree with, an, or an adult or a teacher for that matter, does not agree with or understand another student's gender identity or expression, they do not have to change how they feel about that. But they do not get to make fun of, harass, ignore, uh, or harm other students whose gender identity they don't understand or support. Gender diversity education is about teaching students to live and work with others. So it comes down to simple agreement and respect. So I thank you again, uh, and that's all I have. Thank you. Clock TV.